design of the new 7 Series is, of course, something very special. It's a 7 Series. It's a BMW. Um, it's our flagship. So let's start with the BMW aspect. It's a BMW, therefore it, it is the sportiest car in its segment. The car has to look dynamic, has to look athletic, has to look precise as well. It's a precise driving machine. But on the other hand, it's a flagship, you know? It's our most expensive car. And it's very important that it has a lot of status, a lot of presence, a type of quiet strength. It has to look like, has a certain sovereignty to it. So you'll see like a lot of elements that are just very clean, um, very precise, very much over the whole length of the car or the whole width of the car, big kidneys, but at the same time a lot of like muscularity, very generous surfaces, very sensual surfaces. So that's very important, this combination of the two. And we basically call it precision and poetry. And we really believe that those are the two elements that are important in any BMW and particularly in a 7 Series. It was an obsession with detail this time to a level that BMW has never done. And on the exterior we focused very much on a lot of the second read things, the things you don't see right away. For example, the, the shoulder line going from headlamp to tail lamp is actually not one line. It's two lines. When you get a bit closer, there's a second line that appears there that connects the front to the rear, and it also is exactly the same width as a door handle. And that you're not supposed to see right away. So it's a lot more about sort of the car gives you more when you live a bit more with it. On the interior, we went through the trouble of designing things that are actually really hard to manufacture. I'll give you another example. Um, in the dash, the wood and the galvanized uh, surfaces below it are two pieces. And actually when the galvanized finisher comes out of the tool, it's scanned. And that, each and individual one is scanned, and then the wood is milled exactly to that scan so that they fit perfectly together. So. Exterior, interior, really all about just detail, detail, detail. Typical BMW 7 Series proportion. Short front overhang, very long hood, uh, cabin rearward, very elegant C-pillar, we believe really flowing nicely into the, uh, the trunk lid. But there's also a few details that you will see. Um, kidneys, kidneys, super important for any BMW here. Very proud, very big, very upright. Those kidneys are also, for the first time, they open and close. So they're literally closed most of the time because it's better for drag coefficient. But when the, the engine works hard, then they open up to let more air in. So here as well, like proportions and detail are yeah, hopefully some of the things that you'll see when you approach the car. Modern luxury is not, or luxury as a whole, is not about just more wood or more leather. Uh, we really believe that luxury for BMW is about innovation. It's about being the first ones to bring a technology to more people. And today, if you're going to build you know, a car like the 7 Series, which is probably one of the best cars on the road out there, it has to have the best technology available. And that doesn't only mean the best technology in the car world, it means the best technology anywhere, you know, like gesture control or obviously touch screens. And we've taken that to much, much further than we've done in the past. The 7 Series customer is changing, the whole world is changing. I think any premium or luxury customer his, his or hers expectations are changing daily because the world is changing so quickly. And that's a big reason why we felt it was very important that we are at the top of the sort of the techno technological wave. And, um, and if we believe if somebody's going to do it, then BMW is, of course, the brand to lead the way in terms of innovation. We've 
very consciously added touchscreen technology today, but we've added it. We haven't replaced the iDrive controller in the front. It's a very big advantage is that it, you don't need to take your eye off the road when you are using it. But there's certain functions or certain situations where touchscreen is essential or much easier if you're in traffic or if you're setting up your phone before you start and so on. You today, all of us today, live with touchscreens and it, it is the primary way of using our screens today. But we still believe that in certain, you know, um, driving situations where you need to be focused, the best way is the iDrive controller. That's why it's there as well. In history, the 7 Series has always been sort of the first one in terms of technologies to bring them to the market or to BMW and then it trickles down. So there will be uh, definite things that you will see in other cars. Um, you know, I can say, for example, that this level of finesse and quality that we have now in the 7 Series interior, you, you will find that in more and more of the BMWs that will be coming out on the streets. A sporty, driver-oriented interior will always be part of BMW's character, part of BMW's identity. But we now found ways where we can combine that sportiness with that level of quality and finesse and refinement that is expected today of a luxury car manufacturer like BMW.